Let's make a one node Kubernetes cluster on one virtual machine. Start by switching to root and save yourself some headache. Pop open your favorite text editor and create this bash script. This handy script is going to download Kubernetes and all the packages that it needs to function. Execute. All we need is one command to fire up this cluster now. Bippity boppity Kubernetes. And that's an error. Turns out you can't have any swap running or you won't be able to get Kubernetes running. It's not a problem. Just open up Etsy FS tab and comment out the swap line. Go ahead and reboot, and then, when you get back to the command line, run swap on s No output is good. It means there's no swap. Once again, become root, and try that kubeadm command again. This time, it'll work. You can save that highlighted command if you want to add nodes later. Let's go ahead and stop being root. And now, let's make a directory for kubeconfig. We need this to connect kubecontrol to the cluster. Copy the config file into that directory that you just made. Now, change the ownership of that file so that non-root users can interact with the cluster too. Go ahead and start the networking add-on. We like to use Calico. And now, double check and make sure that your network pods are running. Looking good. Now, if we're actually going to schedule pods in this node, then we had better untaint it with this command. Replace master name with the name of your host machine. And if you don't know what that is, then use kubectl get nodes. You now have a fully viable, kubeadm initiated, single virtual machine Kubernetes cluster. Enjoy and happy microservicing. This video is brought to you by Alta3 Research. We offer training solutions both on site and online so that you can choose the method that works best for you. If you like this video, check out the links in the description box below for more information on our course offerings. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.